In today's day and age, especially with B2C, still for B2B, but especially with B2C, consumers are very conscious when they're making buyer decisions. There's information that they want to learn about the individual or about the company before they actually commit to making that decision. And almost, if you look at these questions, there's a pattern of what information that consumers want to learn about a brand or a company before, before they buy it. And if you study consumer psychology, this is the type of information that consumers want to see. A lot of times it's subconscious. They subconsciously want to learn who you are, what do you do, why do you do what you do, et cetera, et cetera, through the videos, through the content, through the, the, the collateral on your website, or through hearing about it from another friend. Oftentimes these aren't conscious decisions. This is subconsciously planted in the brain for this person to think, hmm, maybe I should buy this product. Or, or when they get to the point where they need that product or that service, that company is the first uh, company that they think about whenever they need it because they learned a little bit about that company or about that individual. If you notice, there's a little bit of a pattern going on here. You, 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 who, what, why, why, why. We can almost treat funnel psychology in the awareness, engagement, and conversion funnel as like dating. You know, if you swipe right on Bumble and if you go on a date with a potential significant other, you aren't necessarily trying to cram all the information about your life and your interests and what you want your future to be all on that one first date. Like, there's a couple different dates. There's a process to uh, to really develop a relationship with that person. Maybe see if it makes sense for you know for both those two people to convert as in, you know, into a relationship or as boyfriend and girlfriend. Very similar with the awareness, engagement, and conversion funnel. So if us marketers want to study psychology and, and be aware that consumers want information, they want to explore a brand and really discover the information, but we need to break down that information and break out that information, but still syndicate that information out to these users and these potential uh, consumers. And this is why we have the awareness, engagement, and conversion funnel. Those five questions that I li li listed out previously, we can actually answer those questions within content, ideally through video form in these videos. So the way retargeting works is based on if then sequences. If someone watches this first video, then you might send them a second video. So there's something called custom audiences on Facebook and there's something called retargeting and pixels with your website and Google ads, where essentially if someone engages with your ad or watches your video or goes to your website, you can bucket them in an audience, put them aside over here and retarget just those specific people who've already consumed your content with other specific content. And so if the first piece of content that you send someone is just all awareness, explaining who you are, your passion, your purpose for why you started this company, that individual might have a genuine interest in you. They might want, you know, have to learn a little about who you are and why you do it. They might think, hmm, this person's pretty cool. But at this awareness level, we almost want to have a rule of thumb for it to be 100% story, 0% product information. As we get down deeper into the funnel, as we start to retarget people and people start to really get deeper in our funnels, we can start to have more product and, and less information about the story. But at this top level, since this is probably one of the first times that someone's seeing one of your ad, you want to have 100% story. Again, if you start out with a date and the first you know date that you're on someone, you you know the first five minutes you sit down, you ask them to go out with you, they're probably gonna say, "Whoa, this is like too fast, too soon. I don't even know you." Very similar thing with ads. If people get hit with an ad and they don't even know who the brand is or why they should follow this brand or why they should like this brand or why they should buy this product, then people are instantly gonna feel like they're being sold something, they're gonna feel like it's sketchy and zero trust is gonna be created, therefore no relationship is made. And the awareness engagement conversion is set up to syndicate specific content out through a funnel format to answer this question, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, and eventually, get that person as a, as a, a conversion you know, to that company. And so what happens is, let's say you have 10,000 people at this top level, right? Let's say you have a why video where you are defining your story and defining your purpose um, on Facebook, social media, et cetera. If you were to bucket these people over here into a custom audience, then you have an engagement video where you're describing more about your product. You know, ideally we kind of want to see a rule of thumb at this engagement level of 50% story, 50% 50, 50 product. So if the content that you're creating at this part of the funnel has like a nice blend, a nice balance of your story and your product, then you're kind of in a kosher spot. You make that video, then you retarget these 10,000 people with that engagement video. At this point, and for context, oftentimes when we're creating a custom audience, we are creating it based on the indicators that other people are telling us that they wanna learn more about our product or about our company or about our brand or about our story. And the way we can do that is the custom audiences that I mentioned that we can create, we can create them at different levels of engagement for our content. So for example, you can create a custom audience off of everyone who's watched the video for at least three seconds, 10 seconds, 25% of the video, all the way up to 95% of the video. So if I create a custom audience 
of people who watch you know this awareness video or, or this why video for at least 25 percent of the way through of my video let's say it was a minute long video and if the average watch time is on facebook is six seconds then there's a pretty decent indicator that they're interested in my product or my service or my content so based on the indicator i bucket them in an audience a custom audience i create a new video and what video maybe that explains a little bit more about my product maybe the benefits versus the features of my product I bucket these people, retarget them. At this point, I'm still gonna uh, capture, maybe people watch the second video for 25% of the way through. So I'm gonna lose, well, let's say I have 5,000 people down here. I'm, I'm losing 50% of my audience here, but I'm only capturing the people who watch 25% of my video. These people have subconsciously indicated to me that they wanna learn more, so therefore I only wanna spend my ad dollars to people who've indicated to me that they wanna learn more about my product, about my brand. So now I've got this second bucket over here. All these people have seen my engagement video and my awareness video. Back to those five questions about consumer psychology. They know a little bit about who I am, why I do it, and what I do. But if the, the second two questions, if you remember, they were why should I care and why should I care right now? And this is where the engagement level of the funnel is very important. This is where a testimonial really ultimately gets their true conversion. So of these 5,000 people, if you have a great testimonial with a user or a customer that you created this, at this conversion level, which again, at this conversion level, it can be 100% product, you know, all about your, uh, like your product and the benefits. Although what's amazing is sometimes testimonials are, are all about the product, but they're told through the story of some being impacted. So testimonials are often great conversion content. But then you can you, know, you re retarget these 5,000 people with this conversion content, and at that point, the, all those people, so at this point, if, I'm re, if I capture the custom audience of the people who watch this third video in my AEC funnel, it might be 2,500 people because I'm losing people who aren't watching the video for at least 25% of the way through. These 2,500 people have now seen my awareness video, my engagement video, and my conversion video in that order. So I didn't start selling them first. So the chance of them converting, now when I say, okay, now download my app, sign up for my ebook, buy my book, buy my course, whatever, the chances of the inclination of them buying my product are much higher.